Hello everyone and welcome to teawithginger.com in the kitchen. So tonight I'm going to teach you guys how to make my sparkler that I came up with for 4th of July. And it's a really fun drink because it actually separates out in the cup. So um, if you have seen it, you know that it looks really cool and fun. So let's get started and I'll teach you how to make it. So basically what we're going to start off with is our, um, well what's in it, let me tell you that first, is our Honey Lemon Breezy White Tea and then our Jenna Jubilee Cherry Tea. The nice thing about our fruit teas is that there's no added sugars to them so they're great for kids to drink. And the nice thing about Jenna Jubilee is that it is one of our JDRF teas. And what that means is a dollar from each large bag of Jenna Jubilee that's sold goes to JDRF. Um, it's a organization that Tanya is very passionate about and JDRF happens to be Juvenile Diabetes Research. Um, so she has three teas that a dollar from each large bag gets donated to JDRF and the teas are named after her children. So there's Sammy Sweetheart, Jenna Ju Jubilee, Jenna Jubilee, and Lady Layla. And they're all amazing teas. My two favorite out of the three personally are Lady Layla, or excuse me, Jenna J Cherry Jubilee and Sammy Sweetheart. So, but tonight, to keep up with the 4th of July theme, I figured what's better for an American 4th of July than anything cherry. So that's why I chose Jenna Cherry Jubilee to do for this drink. But you could obviously use any of our red fruit teas that you want. Um, and again, there's no added sugars to them. So you can add sugar if you like to or not. But for this specific drink, we're not going to add sugar to the Jenna Cherry Jubilee. Um, we're going to also make the Honey Lemon Breezy White Tea. This is a nice um, white tea with a really nice flavor to it. So I think you'll enjoy that. Um, and we are gonna add sugar to this. Steep Tea's tea comes um, naturally with no added sugars. The co company does not add sugar to the tea with exceptions to our lattes. And the lattes do have um, extra creamer or sugar. They're known as our quick on the go teas. So those teas are the exception to the rule, but as a normal rule, we do not add any sugars, added sugars to any of our teas. So they're great for everyone. Um, white tea is a, typically a light tea. It's grown, um, picked when it's a very young tea. So it has a really light flavor to it. So let's get started on this because I know you all want to know and hopefully my iPad doesn't die before I finish. Um, so what I'm going to do is make a concentrate to start off with. And the concentrate's really easy to do. Since I'm gonna use my bubble cup to serve my drink in, I figure I might as well make the concentrate for this one in the bubble cup. And then we'll just pour that into our iced tea pitcher and I'll show you how you can make a concentrate for any of our teas. So that being said, let's get started. I already have my, should be already boiled. Yeah, my uh, kettle has already been on, so it's already pretty ready. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two perfect pot spoons because that's what I use for the, any of our pitchers, two quart pitchers. Reason being is that a pot is smaller than a two quart pitcher. So I will use two of those. Let me grab that spoon. For some reason it hopped away. Let me grab that real quick. Okay, hopefully that was fast enough. So that's why I love those spoons. I have a tea drawer. What you're gonna do is you're gonna give the bag a little shake. Sometimes um, different things in the bag will sell to the bottom. So if you get a little shake, it just helps it all to mix up a little bit so you get a full flavor of tea out of what you make. So these are what are considered our perfect pot spoons. They're very inexpensive and they're nice to have just like you saw me just hop over and grab it out of my tea drawer. I knew right where it was and where to expect to get it so it's easy to use. Um, it's also great because it's more of a bowl shape and with uh, white tea it's really big um, leaves. So it being a bowl shape helps you to get a perfect pot or a perfect uh, pitcher. So I'm going to use two of these for my concentrate. Just gonna stick that right in here. This fine mesh infuser is really great because you're not going to get the added tea floaties that you do from a lot of tea balls or um, infusers that have bigger holes in them. So it's definitely great to own a fine mesh infuser. I'm going to seal this back up to keep the freshness. And then, sorry my nose is itching. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to take, let me move this out of the way so you can see a little bit better. 
So I'm making a concentrate just like you would um, when you go to the store and buy orange juice or lemonade that comes in a little container. Basically, it's just a concentrated amount that you add water to later when you're ready for it. Well, this would be a concentrate just so that we can make it easy. And this is the way I'm used to making it. Um, so I'm just pouring this in here, the hot water. The nice thing about the bubble cup that I'm using is it's double walled. We have a lot of items that are double walled. I'm just gonna stick this infuser right in there. This particular bubble cup, oh, I can smell the honey already. This particular bubble cup, you can um, put the lid on or off. The lid, what's mostly my favorite part about it is, is once you pull this infuser off, you're gonna be able to set it over to the side on top of your lid and you're not gonna have it drain all over your counter. Uh, the nice thing with white teas is they can be received three times, so you're gonna get a lot of use out of one bag of tea. Um, so we're gonna let this steep. I'm going to set my timer, let me set my microwave. for four minutes. So I just steep my teas for four minutes for everything. Um, there are different times for different teas, but if you like the way it tastes at four minutes for whatever tea you make, then go for it. There really is no right or wrong way. Um, typically when you steep a tea that's green, white, black, the longer you steep, the more bitter it will become. So you just wanna be careful that you don't oversteep or forget about it because you're gonna notice it's really bitter, the tannins come out and it's, um, a lot of reason why people don't like tea because they're oversteeping. So four minutes to me is a typical rule where I like all of them. Um, and we do have a grid that will show you for the various teas if you want to do it exactly like some people do to perfection, um, or perfection, I should say, to perfection. Um, there is a set up grid of what to do it at. But again, I'm a four minute girl on everything besides fruit. Fruit tea, you can throw in the pitcher, leave it forever. Once fruit's done steeping, it's done steeping, and that's it. And it's only a one steep tea, so one time steeping. So you throw that in your pitcher, leave it in there. You can actually eat the fruit bits afterwards. I know certain people that do that. Um, so really interesting. You can also bake with the teas, do lots of fun things with that. And fruit teas happen to be a lot of fun to bake with. So, so we're just waiting for this one to steep. And while we're waiting for that, I might as well just go ahead and get this fruit tea started for you guys. So all I'm gonna do is, this is our um, sweet tea pitcher. And this is really nice. This one actually is glass. So it's really pretty to see through. It's really great for the fruit teas because it's gonna give you lots of color and you're gonna see the fruit floating in there. It's just gonna make you happy all over. Um, another thing you can do is you can make sangria with it. You can use any wine that you like and then just use some of our fruit tea. Put it in this nice sweet tea pitcher and you're gonna have a beautiful looking pitcher of uh, sangria that you'll have that you can share with your friends. The nice thing about this specific pitcher is it has an infuser on it that's a fine mesh also. So when you put this on the top, it's gonna hold that fruit back. So you can also put waters and cucumbers or lemons or whatever you like to do at home. You don't necessarily have to use our tea, but this is an amazing pitcher. I highly recommend it. Um, it is glass. We do have a BPA free um, plastic option too that we'll be using for our concentrate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give it back a little shake. And again, this is our Jenna Cherry Jubilee fruit tea. And I'm gonna, just like with the other one, use two scoops of fruit and throw it in there. Oh, this smells really good. And two. So as you can see in the bottom of the picture, hopefully you can see that, it's really pretty. Oh, that's a big deal. See? So, and all I'm gonna do with this to start is I'm going to um, just fill it with the water a little bit. And this again, I'm just making a concentrate with this basically, but I don't have to put it in a different vessel like I did with the other one because you can actually, again, leave the fruit in there. We do have other options too where you can use steeping sacks. They're biodegradable, um, really inexpensive. They're great for on the run. Uh, that's an option too. So we're getting close. We have 42 seconds left on this steep. One thing that's interesting about this one is because I want to get the variation in color, we're gonna add a little bit of blue food coloring to it. Presently at this time, I'm not aware of a tea that we have that turns blue when you make it, so I kinda of have to cheat a little bit. But since it's a holiday and it's not something I make all the time, it's something special, then it'll be okay this one time. So, let's see, we gotta be getting close. And my favorite to use when I'm using a food coloring is a gel. So I am actually using L'Oreal, which is a great company. It's actually from my hometown back in Michigan, which I live in Indiana now, so 
um, but frequent home a lot. And Lorian Oils actually makes and is a company based in Lansing, Michigan, where I'm from originally. So let me turn off this timer. All right, so let's get this process started. So what I'm gonna do is like I told you, you just take this out. I normally get a little dip. I don't know, it's just a habit I have. You don't have to. I'm gonna remove this infuser and set it right in this lid. And again, that's nice because everything's gonna drain in there. I'm gonna remove my infusion jug top. And I am going to pour this in here. Now you could make this in the infusion jug itself, but I, I like to make everything, just as my personal preference, I'm used to it, I make everything hot. So, because it brings out the flavor faster and you can use less tea. So I normally, again, make the concentrate, but you could potentially make this in your jug. The only problem is I wanna make this cold and I wanna make it cold fast. So that's why I make a concentrate pour in here and then I'll add cold water and ice to it so that I have instant iced tea. Whereas the other way I'd have to put it in the pit, in the refrigerator, wait for it to cool down, maybe add a little ice to it and work, but this is gonna be instant and quick and we'll be ready to go. So as I said, I'm gonna add some ice to it. And one thing I want you to do is you're gonna add two cups of sugar. I know that sounds like a ton, but again, this is a specialty treat. We're not gonna drink this every day. So go ahead and add that in there. It's actually better to do before you put the ice in, but I forgot that step. Reason being the heat from the um, hot tea will help to dissolve the sugar. It's kind of the same principle as making a, um, yeah, I can't think of the word now, but you know what I'm talking about. Oh, simple syrup. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna add some more water to it. I'm just over at the refrigerator over here, so I'll be right back. I'm back. I should have had my water on the side so I could just pour it in, but you guys are still with me, right? So I'm just gonna give this a nice little swirl. Now here's where the magic happens. Here's where I'm gonna add a little bit of blue food coloring to give it the blue for the layer of the blue that we're gonna put um, in our drink to make our sparkler. So I'm just gonna take a toothpick. And again, the gel's nice because it's thick and you don't have to use as much. And I'm just gonna swirl it in there. There's no real science to it as far as how much I use. If it's not blue enough for you, you can add some more. Let me move this stuff so you can see how pretty it's looking already. Okay, so you can see I have the blue all swirled through there. And my sugar is all swirled through there. And actually with this infusion jug, the nice thing about this is a lot of times I use the center where it's the infuser and I use that to stir my teas. But this one, since I used the um, food coloring, I did use a little spatula to make sure it got stirred in really well. So now that that's done, we're just gonna put that in the fridge and let it cool down a little bit. And actually, my fridge is pretty cool, so we're just gonna leave that over here on the counter till we're ready. So, okay. Now, what we're gonna do is finish making our Gin and Cherry Jubilee. Now you see it's a really nice, pretty red color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some ice and water to that. And to be faster, I'm just gonna use the water from my sink here. And I'll show you the really nice red color this is gonna come out. Okay, so here we go. So now we have the really pretty, and the longer you let the Genitary Jubilee set out, the redder it's gonna get. If for some reason you feel it's not red enough for you, you can always add a little bit of red food coloring, but really it should be red enough. Um, and then I don't add any extra sugar to that layer, so that's nice. So last time when I made it for 4th of July, I used squirt in it. And today, when I ran to this quick corner store, they didn't have squirt, so I decided to try it with 7-Up. So cross your fingers, it should work but let's give it a try. So, to get my 7-Up out, 
So the trick to this is to have ice in your glass. So I'm gonna use our bubble cup. Show you how pretty this can be. And then we're just gonna put a little bit of ice in the bottom to start. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to do it in thirds. So we'd have red, white, and blue, which makes it our sparkler. So you're gonna take this, let me move this out of our way. And then I'm just gonna pour it slowly over the ice, about a third of the way or so. Okay, just like that. So we have our blue base. Then we're gonna take it. The rest of the way with ice. Now I cheated earlier. Good enough. I cheated earlier. Um, I'll show you in a second. But okay, so let's put on our seven up. See if this works. So we're just gonna pour it really slow over the ice and pour it up. And this might not show as well. The squirt has a little bit of, of white to it, so it shows a little bit better. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's gonna show up as well, but you'll get the idea. So I was telling you I cheated earlier and I made some Jenna Cherry Jubilee because I wanted to make sure it was red enough when we did this. So it's the same thing, I just used our um, our iced tea pitcher, or excuse me, oh my gosh, it's getting late. Yeah, it's 12.10 here, so in the morning, so it's pretty late. But anyways, I wanna make sure it was red enough, so I made it in the teapot because I didn't have another one of my uh, sweet tea pitchers available for me to use, um, to use it. So what I'm gonna do with this though, because the infuser typically goes in it and you steep, but because it was a fruit tea, I just threw it in there. When I pour this out, there's gonna be nothing straining it back. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour this in, oh, let me grab the right one, in our Clearly Navy Pop Top. The real cool thing about this is it has a removable infuser this one in particular, which is our tra one of our travelers, stays hot for about an hour and a half to two hours or so. So I call it your early morning on the go traveler because you can basically run out of the house drinking out of this one. And for some reason, I didn't get any fruit tea in this or any fruit bits in this, so that's cool. So these have locking mechanisms on them that's really nice so they're not gonna spill when you go somewhere. They also make great pouring vessels. So what I'm gonna do with this then is just ever so gently, I'm gonna pour it over the ice again. And I just keep filling that right up to the top. And the thing, the reason why I poured it in here from there is because I was worried about getting fruit bits if I just poured this directly out of the teapot since there's no strainer to hold back the fruit. So I figured I'd pour it in here and that way I definitely wouldn't get any fruit in there. As you can see, it's red, white, and blue. Hence the reason I call it sparkler. So now I'm gonna show you another cool trick. We're gonna jazz this up a little bit and make it into an adult beverage. So I'm gonna take my Clearly Navy Pop Top, which is really nice because you can see through it and it's pretty pretty. So that's why I love these. We also have some stainless steel double walled pop tops that do the same thing. They lock, and then when you push this up and push it, it flips open, hence the name pop top. But these are really great. These stay hot anywhere from eight to nine hours. It's crazy how hot. So that's why I call this one, you're on the go in the morning, and this is when you're at work in the afternoon, you can just pull it out of your bag and it's ready to go. So it gets McDonald's coffee hot, so be careful about that one. So okay, we have this. So since we have the red in there already, let's just spike this one up. To start. So what I'm going to do is I have a little bit of Vinique here and I have some Hypnotic. Red, blue. So we're going to take a little bit of the Vinique 
and basically two ounces. We'll open that right up. Put it in our little jigger. And then I'm gonna pour that right into this clearly maybe. And again, this is gonna be great because I have the infuser in here. This infuser is actually gonna work as a shaker. So it's gonna actually cause it to shake all up. So I'm gonna put that in tightly. I'm gonna give it a lock. And I'm gonna hope for the best. Well, not really, it should be fine. So you can either give it a little swirl, or you can give it more of a shake, whatever floats your boat. Or you can give it a little bit of back and forth action, get your workout in, whatever. So that one's basically ready to go. So now let's do the same process, but with the hypnotic. Close this up, and I'm going to take this, what I call the Honey Lemon Breezy Blue, and we're gonna add that to our other Clearly Pop Top that I already have labeled. And then we're gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna add about two ounces of Hypnotic to it Give it a little shake and then we will turn it into an adult beverage. I'm kind of a lightweight, so two ounces is more than enough for my taste. But obviously, you're more than welcome to spice it up as much as you want. So, I'm going to add that into there. Put that in there. Add on that infuser, make sure it's locked, tight and locked. Head down for locked, and then again, gonna do my little exercise for the night. Ooh. Yeah, so anyways, it should be good to go. So now that we have that shaped up, or shaken, shaken, whatever, I'm obviously not a bartender. Um, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna use our cool Cosmo cups. So, and same thing, we're going to add this time just a couple ice cubes to start. You're gonna slide this button up and give it a push. It's gonna pop open. And we're gonna do again the thirds. So there's that. Now we're gonna fill it up all the way with ice. Again, you want to pour that over the ice and slowly. Okay. And now we're going to finish it off with the Jenna Cherry Jubilee with the Vinny in it. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. Give it a second. You can watch it separate. And there you go. You're all set. Have a happy holiday, everyone, and enjoy your sparklers. See you soon.